guys, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are all doing well. My name is Kim Sunny. If it is your first time here and welcome to my channel. What's good, what's popping? I hope you guys are all doing absolutely amazing. What's good, what's popping or whatever. I'm so excited and so happy that you guys are all here today. And today is going to be a fun one. We're going to do some reflections. We're going to do some check-ins, spiritual check-ins specifically. I'll get into explaining that in a minute. Before we get right into this video, please don't forget to give this video a big massive thumbs up. Comment down below, please. Please, please, please engage. We're going to be doing this every single end of the month. So please make sure that you engage and write in the comments. I'm going to answer these things. Please make sure you answer them as well in the comments so that we can all just help each other, be praying for each other and just create a good community in the comments for what we are going to be starting from now on. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if it is your first time here or if you've been around and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I create lifestyle and faith content if that is something that you're interested in. It is fun over here and we would absolutely love to have you a part of the sweet community that we have here. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Alright, so like I mentioned, I kind of briefly spilled what's going on here, but I have seen a lot of videos like this and I love videos like this where they do monthly resets, monthly check-ins, monthly, I don't know, yeah, you just kind of like revisit your monthly goals, you visit your monthly intentions, you revisit how you can be better within the month, what what you'd like to achieve in the month and all of that stuff. And I love videos like that because I am someone who is very big on goals and habits and intentions, right? So I've seen a lot of people do that. So like it kind of broadens into education, finances, job, goals, um, health, anything you'd like to pick up like hobbies or social, or it broadens into most facets of daily lives. But I've never really seen one that is very catered towards your spiritual journey, your spiritual growth, your spiritual um, maturing. I can't say this word. You you maturing in your faith. I can't say the bigger. I'll leave it here. I can't say that word. <laughs> but I don't really see a lot of videos like that. I wanted this to be we something that we all engage in. This is something that we all take a part in. This is something that we all do, especially when if you had a goal the beginning of the year, if I want to get right with God, I want to draw nearer to the Lord. I want to know God. I want to deepen my faith. I want to prioritize God more. This is something that I would call on you to take a part of, right? So this is basically what we're going to be do is we're going to have reflections. We're going to do a check-in you and I we're gonna we're gonna come together and do a check-in and for the most part I will do check-ins about myself and my relationship with God but like I said please 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 use the comment section to also reflect on your relationship with God and what it was in that month so I have 10 questions in total that I am going to answer which you guys will answer as well I'll make sure to leave it in the description in the comments and I'll pin the comments so you can answer those questions as well and I, I'm just praying that this helps us to see where we fell short um, where we can grow strong, what we can be teachable in, what we need to be more intentional about and how was our overall relationship with God this month. We like to do it with specific goals like I mentioned but we need to be more intentional about our faith. Last week's video I spoke about being eternity minded and the importance of being eternity minded, the importance of being awake, of being sober minded, of being watchful, of not being, don't let God catch you slipping. You know in that we are going to take account for how we lived our lives and I think because we're going to take account, I think it's important that we do these reflections so that we are aware of God. How, how can I do better? I think it's really important to reflect where are you at with God? Months can go by and you'll be like, oh, I haven't spent time with God in so long. I feel distant from God. But if you had reflected month by month what was going on, you would have been more, you would have taken charge more about prioritizing God and being devoted to him wholeheartedly and all of that stuff. So let's get right into it. So number one, how was your relationship with God this month? I think it was beautiful, the revelations, the urgency that I have felt in my spirit as of late to not take God for granted, to not sleep on him, to not be caught slipping and to be more watchful and discerning, I think was very evident within this month. God has literally been doing like shifts in my life of showing me, okay, remove this in your life, stop doing that add this into your life subtract that be more guarded here be more discerning here be more like i feel like god has done that and i'm 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 open to being teachable towards what the lord is going to be doing in my life and how he's going to do that and what he's preparing me for and just being eternity minded not to say that it was 
easy or I was never caught slipping. I had moments while I was slipping, I'm not gonna lie. I had moments, but then the Holy Spirit said, come, we're not gonna be caught slipping. So I think in terms of that, I would say that was how my relationship with God was. Question number two is, how was your Jesus time? And did you prioritize spending time with God every single day? Like I said in my goals video, I'm someone Monday to Friday, I'm good. Saturday, Sunday, I'm like, ah, really? <laughs> So I think something that I had to do in terms of my calendar, I have time, like I literally have Jesus time, I think from like half past six and then like I have a morning routine, right? So I have that, but then Saturday and Sunday, I kind of don't wanna wake up that early, so I sleep in, but I had to set time aside because what I noticed about myself is that, like I said, Saturday, Sunday, I sleep in, I'm chilled, I'm like, I'm taking things chill, so that I end up not having Jesus time, which is not, not good. I created like a little, um, reminder to have Jesus time at 10 a.m. being the latest that I wake up but during the weekend because I'm more susceptible to want to stay in bed and chill and blog so I have my Bible I I'm prioritizing to have my Bible my devotional and my prayer journal right by my nightstand so that when I wake up I immediately at 10 o'clock I just take it I have Jesus time in bed that is way more intentional for me because during the weekends I will forget there's certain moments and I will be honest and say that there are certain moments during the weekend specifically where I didn't have Jesus time and then the next day I'd have to do my devotional times too because I didn't do the last one yeah I think now setting time for myself and also like having people to keep me accountable of please ask me during the weekend because I know that I'll be caught sleeping. Please ask me if I've had Jesus time and please ask me to go have Jesus time if I haven't. I would say maybe I've had like a few days where I have not had Jesus time, but trying to implement and do better with accountability and actually with actually writing it down as to how that will look like for me. Question number three, what book in the Bible did God lead you to? I, because I have a devotional, I haven't specifically been led to a specific book in the Bible, but I will say as recently, I've been reading Ruth. I really felt recently like I needed to go back to Ruth to remember that this is what God is doing. Number four, what did God teach you this month? Honestly, being eternity minded. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like these things that I've been happening in the world like i don't think these are all things that have happened by chance i feel like god is telling us to wake up <laughs> i really really feel that so i think that is something god has been teaching me with all of these events i really feel like god is telling me to wake up god is telling me to be sober minded god is telling me to discern god is telling me to just be alert number five what did you need to repent from this month god has been showing me my self-righteousness <laughs> And God has been showing me that I have a problem with feeling myself and thinking that I'm self-righteous and I'm better and it's been hard. You know what? Self-righteousness. Mmm, it's a bad thing. Because then you start to think that you're better than someone else and it's like, really? No, you're not. You've also fallen short of the glory of God just because you don't do what someone else does that doesn't make your sin much more better. Like, you're, all, you're also worse off, child. You're also a part of the gang. <laughs> It doesn't make you less of a sinner. It doesn't make you less needy for his mercy and his compassion and his forgiveness and running towards him. Number six, what do you need to surrender to the Lord? How I love to be in control. And I've had to literally write in my prayer journal and as a prayer point to be like, God, help me surrender control. The control aspect, I think that as I consistently try to figure things out, I'm leaving God out of it. Like I had something, I'm like, okay, God, you've shown me this. Okay. Let me do this, 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 and God's like, no, I wasn't showing so you could figure it out. I am self-sufficient. I am sovereign. I know these things, not you. Kintani, just rest in me. Just abide, just abide, sweetie, just abide. So I think something that is something God has been calling on me to surrender, to surrender that, to surrender uncertain moments, to surrender fearful moments, to surrender things that I cannot perceive or understand, just to surrender those to the Lord. Number eight, what were major prayer points for you this month? I'm gonna share something I think which is somewhat a bit vulnerable for me, but I feel like I need to share this because I don't know who needs to hear this, but something that the Lord really has been poking at me, and I think it was somewhat Jan, December, Jan, Feb, right? Is I had to pray for a specific family member and I had to pray and I had to pray to God and ask God, God, please make me merciful and compassionate and please give me a forgiving heart and please help me to see this person as someone who is in need of your grace and mercy. Please help me see this person as someone who is broken and who is in need of you. And in doing that, 
it helped me be more inclined to want to show that person grace and mercy to be more prayerful for this person because as long as i am viewing this person from this person hurt me this person showed me flames this person deeply deeply affected me as long as i view this person from my pain i personally am not going to want to forgive i'm going to be bitter i'm going to be resentful i'm going to be unforgiving and that's not what god wants for me god wants me to be liberated and letting go does not excuse what the person did but it is leaving it in the hands of god and surrendering it towards god so that is something i had to do which was one of the hardest prayers i've had to like the hardest prayer points was to realize that i had to pray and be like god I need you to help me be merciful and compassionate towards this person because if not, I'm gonna go down a spiral of bitterness and resentment and hate and anger and unforgiveness and offense. And I don't want that for myself. I really, really, really don't want that for myself. So I had to particularly pray that for a family member. And that was really hard. <laughs> that was really, really hard. And then number nine, which worship song did it for you this month? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. Okay, so I have a new playlist called Behold. I haven't finalized it yet, which is why I have not shared it with you guys yet. But in this playlist, all it talks about is beholding the Lord. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful. But I will say within this little playlist, it basically talks about God's holiness, bowing down to him, worshiping him, and seeing him as glorious and all-powerful and all-knowing. That helps me have a deep reverence fear and awe for god which is what we need right one song that has been doing it for me guys is yeshua why no one tell me yeshua is where it's at oh guys that worship song is literally it it's the one of i love another few ones which is not so jesus focused but more it is jesus focused but it's more jesus you are who i need in a storm you are who i need in a valley you are who i need when i'm going through the most has been the one house album that is about to be released and all the songs there all the songs there guys let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you let me put you guys on all of these songs are so beautiful i love them so much but just like jesus the way it says it's just like jesus to show up at the right time and even Lazarus thought it was the end. But then Jesus. And I love that part. And another one is surrendered. It talks about how you need to live a surrendered life. Like I said, surrender control. <laughs> so this was a beautiful song. Always made me cry. And then In Everything has been a new favorite. Those are songs that have been doing it for me lately. This month specifically. What were hard moments you had to trust God for? I had to trust God in one particular moment where something fearful seemed to have happened. And I was just like, oh. But then I remembered the thing I spoke about faith and I said, Jesus, you're giving me the opportunity to respond in faith. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to respond in faith. And my word for the year is to remain hopeful. So there was something that happened and it seemed fearful, but instead I surrendered it to God and I prayed and I said, God, I'm leaving this in your hands and I'm praying that you will do exceedingly and abundantly more than what we need and your will will be done and not my battery dying while well, we're almost done <laughs> my battery literally died i had to let charge for a bit so let's finish off this video real quick because i'm traumatized and i feel like it might do it again because i just let it charge for like 10 minutes and i don't think that's enough time i was talking about hard moments that i had to trust god i wouldn't say that was something that was easy to do though does that make sense like i don't think it was easy to surrender i don't think it was easy to let that go or stop worrying or stressing or being anxious about it or whatever but like i had a thing and it was like just remain in me last one what can you do better in the next month i would say taking continuously praying more though i started praying more and i trying to commit to daily praying but like still a struggle though <laughs> i write in my prayer journal i write my prayer points down i do all of this stuff but like actually taking the time to pray when god calls on me to pray is very important i think just leaning into prayer way more and leaning into just trusting god and 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 knowing that he's sovereign i want to believe god is sovereign i want to believe him as provider i want to believe him as all-knowing all-powerful and wise i'm open to being teachable i'm open to the next levels of repentance of sanctification oh sanctification let's talk about that let's let, let be a little highlight what has the lord sanctified me of i should add that 
I didn't think of that until now something that the Lord has sanctified me on which I think is something that I don't think a lot of people would really think as like oh that's not that deep or that's not that serious but I remember the beginning of the year for example right I had spoken about how I wanted to read more novels and I was really excited and I was like oh I'm ready to get into my novel era yeah it's, you know the thing of sanctification as a Christian is that like you can't watch just anything you can't listen to just anything you can't read just anything you can't hang out with just anyone you can't like those in a in a, uh, those parts of your heart you really need to guard right like scripture calls on you to guard so yeah in terms of novels i'm not too sure if i'm gonna continue my novel era vibe i have like i'm reading novels don't get me wrong but like i'm not invested in them like i was the beginning of the year i'm just like mm. i don't know i think in terms of that that is something that the lord sanctified me from is um just being more discerning and watchful of the things that i consume and just guarding my heart in that way in january i read it ends with us and it starts with us and i spoke about it on instagram it is an interesting story but like i just i was just like mm, did you really have to swear a lot put explicit sex scenes did you really have to all of those things and i was like mm, such really giving jesus you know so yeah i don't know novels i'm not too sure because my thing is i don't want novels that are just i love novels don't get me wrong i can read a book really really fast but the reason why i stopped was because i felt convicted in terms of the things that i consume because i felt like it wasn't glorifying to god i felt like it stirred up things in me that god didn't want me to stir up it i feel like it just was it wasn't helpful at all so in that regard i think that's something the lord has been sanctifying me from this is a beautiful video i absolutely loved this video it was it was great so i hope that you guys do the exact same thing and that you guys also comment down below and let me know how your relationship with god was like this month and how would you reflect seriously 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 reflect and how can you get better the next month that's that's what we're aiming for right that is my reflections and thank you so so much for being here thank you for taking the time to listen to my reflections and i hope this encourages you to do your own reflections and this is the end of the video don't forget to give this video a big massive thumbs up please 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 comment down below don't just say good video like actually let me know your reflections i'd love to talk to you guys i love talking to you guys in the comments and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye friends